Even though he has a net worth of $98 billion, luxury travel hasn't always been a thing for Buffett. In fact, he used to ride his bike around delivering newspapers in his younger days. Buffett has made some impressive long-term investments that have really paid off, and today he is now the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway and is actually the fifth richest CEO in the world. Pretty impressive for once just being a newspaper boy. Berkshire Hathaway is also in charge of NetJets, which is the largest private jet operator in the world. NetJets was founded in 1964 as Executive Jet Aviation. It was the first private business jet charter and aircraft management company. The idea first got started as a sort of luxury air taxi for the rich. Interestingly enough, in the past, Warren Buffett has criticized private air travel. However, he soon came to learn that owning a private jet was a necessity for his business. He now owns a Bombardier Challenger 600. In fact, he came to love his Bombardier Challenger so much that he named it the Indispensable, because it was simply something he couldn't do without. His Challenger 600 is spacious and can seat nine passengers and requires a two-person crew. The cabin is 8.2 feet wide, 6.1 feet high, and 28.3 feet long. There's even a spacious area for Mr. Buffett to keep his luggage. The aircraft has also been designed to have low noise levels, which must come in handy when Buffett is holding a meeting or doing some office work in the sky. The plane's direct operating cost is around $5,100 per flight hour. So if Buffett is flying around in his plane for at least 450 hours a year, it's safe to assume he probably spends about $2,295,000 for this traveling luxury, which is honestly nothing for this billionaire. The private jet is obviously worth it to Buffett because he says he mostly flies and rarely drives his car. In fact, he only drives his car about 3,000 miles a year. This is an insanely small number seeing as the average person drives over 1,000 miles every month, or about 13,500 miles a year. However, when Buffett is on the ground driving, he isn't seen in some super flashy supercar. Instead, he drives a Cadillac XTS, which cost about $46,895. Buffett has promised to donate over 99% of his wealth. So far, he has given away more than $41 billion, mostly to the Gates Foundation and his kids' foundations. Number four, Mark Zuckerberg. This is the youngest billionaire CEO on our list. He is an American media magnate, internet entrepreneur, and philanthropist. He is known for co-founding Facebook and serves as its chairman, chief executive officer, and controlling shareholder. Zuckerberg started Facebook at Harvard in 2004 at the age of 19 for students to match names with photos of classmates. Well, today Facebook has come a long way and so has Zuckerberg. He currently has a net worth of $115.3 billion. He was even recognized by Time Magazine as one of the top most influential people of 2019. Seeing as he's got such an insane amount of wealth, some people may think he's quite frugal because he can often be seen wearing the same gray t-shirt time and time again. However, don't be fooled because those simple gray looking t-shirts are actually made by Brunello Cuccinelli and can easily cost anywhere from $400 to $500. That's right, these aren't your regular $15 t-shirts. When it comes to travel, Zuckerberg doesn't own a private jet like Mr. Buffett. Facebook handles his travels on charter services just like they handle his security. In 2020 alone, Facebook spent about $25 million on charter services for Zuckerberg. It sounds like he needs to get himself a private jet. I mean, it would most likely be cheaper in the long run, but I guess when you have $115 billion to your name and Facebook pays all of your flight expenses for you, cost is a non-issue. Zuckerberg can often be seen driving simple cars like a Honda Fit, a Cura TSX, and a Volkswagen Golf. All three of those cars combined cost a measly $51,000. But wait, don't be fooled by his modest collection of cars. Just like his simple gray t-shirts, there's more to Zuckerberg than meets the eye. This mega billionaire also owns a Bugatti Huayra, which is worth about $3 million. Even though this is a massively impressive car, this is still a small purchase for someone with billions upon billions of dollars. Number three, Bernard Arnault. Here we have the richest person in France, Europe, and the richest person in fashion. He is considered one of the world's ultimate tastemakers because he oversees an empire of 70 brands, including Louis Vuitton and Sephora. 
He is the CEO of LVMH, a luxury goods company that deals with fashion, wine, watches, spirits, perfumes, cosmetics, and more. The company just recently acquired Tiffany & Company for $15.8 billion, believed to be the biggest luxury brand acquisition ever. He is currently number three on Forbes' billionaire list of 2021 and has a net worth of $150 billion. So just how exactly does this mega billionaire travel? Well, he owns a Bombardier Global 7500. The incredible jet was delivered to him in 2021. The Global 7500 is considered to be the world's largest and longest range business jet. It can accommodate 18 passengers and has a list price of $73 million. The jet is fully customizable and is designed for ultimate luxury and a perfect traveling experience. The aircraft includes a bedroom, dining room area, advanced seating, and even a kitchen. Well, luxury is right up Bernard's alley, so it's no wonder that he bought the Global 7500. He is also the proud owner of the luxury yacht named Symphony. The yacht is 101 meters long and can accommodate 16 guests in eight state rooms. And to top it off, Bernard has his own private deck. There's a six foot swimming pool, a jacuzzi, and even a cinema. This luxurious yacht is worth $150 million. But that's not all. The boat costs about 10 to $15 million every year to run and maintain. But that's still a small price to pay for ultimate luxury on the water for this multi-billionaire. Bernard also likes to be chauffeured around to meetings or fashion shows in his BMW 760Li, which has a price tag of $110,000. Number two, Elon Musk. Elon Musk has been working on revolutionizing transportation both on Earth through electric car maker Tesla and in space with rocket producer SpaceX. SpaceX is now valued at $74 billion after its latest funding round in February 2021. At number two on the Forbes billionaire list of 2021, he has a whopping $166 billion to his name. Elon just recently made the move from California to Texas. However, with both SpaceX and Tesla located in California, he still has to travel back to California quite frequently. He owns two private jets, the Gulfstream G550 and the Gulfstream G650ER. The G650ER is bigger, faster, and has a better range. The jet even includes an entertainment space and kitchen. Both jets can carry up to 18 passengers each, and each plane has been personally customized by Musk to perfectly fit his traveling needs. There are exquisite chairs, areas for dining, working, and relaxing. The G650ER has an incredible cost of $70 million, while the G550 cost about $61 million. In 2018, Musk logged more than 250 business flights and flew more than 150,000 miles. When Elon Musk is on the ground, he chooses to mostly drive his Tesla Model S, which cost about $140,000. He can also be seen in his Tesla Model X, which cost about $110,000. And compared to the 70 million jet that he owns, spending this kind of money on cars is probably like pocket change for Elon Musk. However, Musk does prefer to drive himself around because this gives him a chance to test out the latest Tesla models. Before we move on to number one, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and share it with a friend because it really does help out the video and we appreciate it. Now let's look at how the world's richest CEO likes to travel. Number one, Jeff Bezos. And finally, we have the richest CEO in the world, Jeff Bezos. As the founder of e-commerce giant Amazon, it's no surprise that he is number one on the Forbes billionaire list, with a net worth of $191 billion. In 2019, Amazon had $386.1 billion in revenue and a record $21.3 billion in net profit. In addition to that, Bezos owns the Washington Post and Blue Origin, an aerospace company that is developing rockets for commercial use. Being the richest guy on the planet, you can be sure that Jeff Bezos is traveling in style. He is the owner of not one, but two Gulfstream G650ER private planes, costing around $150 million. Even though each plane cost about $70 million, he spent an additional $5 million on each plane with the customizations. As I mentioned earlier, this is definitely a top-of-the-line luxurious plane with its comfortable seating, multiple cabin rooms, and large windows letting in a lot of natural light. 
The jets can easily transform from living mode to office mode in the air. Simply by pulling tables up from the armrest and moving a few seats, you can have your own private office in the sky. So when he needs to fly from the Amazon headquarters in Seattle to other Amazon campuses in far-off locations like India, it's a breeze with the G650ER. He's even got a $5.5 million hangar just south of Seattle where he likes to keep his luxurious jets. When he's not flying one of his private jets, he can be seen driving his Ferrari Pininfarina Sergio, which has a cost of $3 million. And believe it or not, that's actually one of his cheaper cars. He also owns a Bugatti Veyron Mansory, which cost about $3.4 million. In addition to that, he owns a W Motors Lycan Hypersport, which cost $4 million. He's also got a Koenigsegg CC XR Trevita with a $4.8 million price tag. And last but not least, he's got a Lamborghini Veneno, which cost $5 million. Bezos also likes to be chauffeured to meetings in a $96,000 bulletproof Cadillac Escalade. Yes, Mr. Bezos is flying and driving in style. If you had a billion dollars, what would you buy to suit your travel needs? A luxury car or a luxury private jet or both? Comment down below and let us know. Make sure you check out the Lux Live channel for more luxury videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.